Friday, Aloha Fridays, and let's get our cocktail on. Oh, hey, wait, I've got a better idea. Let's get our shooters on. Yep, today I've decided to forego my typical cocktail obsession, and I'm gonna go with shooters. Now, as I've said in the past, shooters are the bastard cousin of cocktails. So, we're keeping it in the family here, it's all good. Today, I'm gonna give you three very fast, very fun little shooters. They all kind of, to me, have a little bit of a story behind them. So I'll give you the little story, but let's get, let's get this started. So the first, the first shooter that I'm gonna do is one that I simply call surprisingly good. It's really tasty, it's really nice. It's known as a fire and ice. It's in its own right, it can be upscaled to a full cocktail, but we're just gonna do it in shooter format. The other one I'm going to be doing is one that I like to call a cement mixer. Now it has another, it has another name to it, and I'll tell you the other name um, later, but you'll see, I've got a special video for that one. And the third one we're gonna be doing is a drunken pyro. Let's start with our fire and ice. Now, as I said, the Fire and Ice is just a really tasty little cocktail. I learned this about 10 years ago from this um, older couple who gave the absolute best dinner parties. They often became quite risque, but they were great dinner parties, and this was their absolute favorite shooter that got the ball rolling. So I've known it for the last 10 years, and I just simply love it. So what we're gonna start off with is a slightly larger glass. We don't want necessarily a shooter glass, a, a, um, a shot glass. We can use a slightly larger glass. Today I'm using a actually one of those dessert um, glasses. We take vanilla bean ice cream and we take a big tablespoon and we turn it into a nice little ball. So we've got a nice little ball here of vanilla bean ice cream. We put it into our glass like so, and then we're going to take this and we're going to heat it up in the microwave for just about eight seconds. You don't want to melt it, but you want to get it starting to melt. You want the general consistency of the ball to stay there, but you want it to start to melt. So we're going to go back here to our microwave we're going to put it in, and we're going to say start, and we're just going to let it run for about eight seconds, just enough to get the melting going, not enough to melt the whole ice cream, like I said. And there we go. So here we go. We've got our nice melted, semi-melted ice cream here. We take our shooter. Fireball whiskey, or a cinnamon whiskey, but Fireball is the standard one. And you notice this comes in a large bottle for good utilization at parties. So I'm going to simply pour in two ounces of this and drop it in. God, that is, I know it doesn't look like much straight away. Oh, if I can keep the bottle cap, but this is a really fun little cocktail. All right, shooter. I'm gonna start off with this one. Like I said, tasty and it can be scaled up. If you like it, scale it up. That's good. So, our second one we're gonna to do today. Our second one is one we call a cement mixer. Now, usually with, with shooters, you can be fast and dirty. This one, you can be relatively fast. You don't need a lot of measurement, but you do need to be slightly careful when you make this one. So we're gonna start off with our shot glass, and I love this shot glass. It is a shot glass, get it? Anyways, so we start off with our shot glass and we start off with Bailey's Irish Cream. We will then pour in about an ounce and a half near the top of the shot glass, not completely to the rim. 
Then we're going to take some lemon juice. You can do it with lime juice, but I actually think it ends up being a little bit tastier with lemon juice. Now I've got one of those squeezy bottles of lemon juice, and I've got one quarter teaspoon here. I'm gonna fill that up, and I'm gonna very, very carefully layer it into the shot glass. I'm just gonna layer it in there. In fact, if you want to put a little bit more, oops, a little bit more, you can, about a half a teaspoon if you want. But the key to this one is do not mix it. I don't know if you can see it, I'll take a shot of this in a second, but the lemon juice should kind of remain in an oily pool right on top. Now I'm gonna to switch to a video of somebody I made this, this shooter for last night. I, I want you to see the reaction, so enjoy. So I have, I have come across a random stranger who is going to try this drink. This used to be a favorite at my old bar. We called it a cement mixer. Uh -huh. You don't drink it like a normal shot. What you need to do is take it into your mouth you take it into your mouth, you hold it, and swish it a couple times, okay? Okay. Then you can swallow it. Okay. Let me know what you think. Swish, swish, swish. That's interesting. <laughs> it becomes like thicker in your mouth. That's weird. Yeah. That's good though. Yeah. That's it's, really good. Do you know what else we used to call it? Hmm. A cum shot. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. There you go. I filmed that last night, um, kind of, it's, it's surprising. When you do this shooter, don't tell the people what it's going to be like because the acid in the lemon juice causes the Bailey's Irish cream to curdle. So when it's in your mouth, it has the consistency of cement, or as you can see, the secondary name we call it is a cum shot. When I worked at the bar about, um, oh God, I don't even wanna say how long ago it was, but this was a shot that we used to give away for free if the person could drink it without spitting it out. If you spit it out, you had to pay for it. It's actually a very tasty shooter as long as you're not um, being surprised by its consistency. So try it out, don't tell your friends, it's fun, it's fun. So what about our second shooter? Wait a minute, I can't count today. You can see I've already done a few shots. So our third shooter today is one I like to call a German pirate. And it uses, as you might be able to guess, Jägermeister. Does the good, well-knowing home bartender keep their Jägermeister? Not in their liquor cabinet. That's right. They keep it in the freezer. Jägermeister, ice cold, very yummy. So we have our Jägermeister. We're actually going to do, there's two variations we can do of this one. We can do a shaken variation, which is the one I'm gonna show, or we can actually do a layered variation. And the layered variation looks cool as heck, but it's a little bit difficult to do, and when it comes down to shooters, you're just really wanting to get as many in as possible. So the, shape, the layered version may not be what you wanna do for everybody, but it's cool. And to do the layered version, you really need pineapple juice, uh, fresh pineapple juice or fresh pineapple puree. You need something a little bit thicker to get it to float on the top of the Jägermeister. But we're not just using pineapple juice today. So I'm going to show you a picture of the layered version, and then I'm going to do the, um, the shaken version. So what do we start off with? Well, we have our shaker here with a little bit of ice already put in. We open up our Jägermeister here. We add in one nice jigger, one ounce of Jägermeister. And we're going to add in, you can even see the frost on that Jägermeister bottle. That is a well-stored bottle of Jägermeister. And we're going to add in one ounce of 
a spiced rum. I actually like Sailor Jerry's. Um, it's probably my favorite spiced rum. I use it a lot. And then we add in two ounces of pineapple juice. And we add that in. Now, I'm going to shake it, and it's not that it particularly to chill it down. This is just literally to mix it up. And the thing about this cocktail that is so fun, or I'm sorry, this shooter that is so fun, is it will speed you down the road to inebriation. So, it's a good one to start the evening with. We layer that one in. Look at that. Just look at that. A German pirate in an appropriate skull shooter glass. So, there you go. There's my three shooters for you today. Hope you enjoy them. Come back next Friday. We'll come up with something new. We'll go back to cocktails. So, cheers. I'm going to be drunk by the time I start editing this video. Talk to you later. See you next week. And for the last one, my German pirate. Cheers. It's actually good. <laughs> See, I have an audience.